What up guys? Monday, December 29th. I'm gonna try another one of these uh kinda commentating in between videos and see how you guys like it. Heavy squats and deads, looking forward to it. 365 for squats, because I scaled it back 460 on deads. So so three sets of six and two sets of six and then and then uh those lovely accessories. Man, the accessories kill me sometimes more than the actual workout. Well, as far as like cardio and uh, speaking, <laughs> speaking of cardio, I'm actually going to probably warm up with like five to 10 minutes on the bike on Friday. I did like, man, close to like an hour of like stretching and mobility just because I hadn't been getting a lot of mobility in due to Christmas and, um, you know, guests and relatives and all that fun jazz. So I took some time on Friday to do a lot of mobility and leading up to my working sets, my I still feel my hips were super tight. I hate to be one of those people, but uh, <laughs> since my which one, my ACL surgery, I feel like, you know, when you hear people say, oh, like the, the weather's affecting my joints and whatnot. I didn't believe that at all <laughs> until I got the surgery, but it doesn't bother me that much. It's not like it's making any squeaking noises, but I do need to warm it up a little bit more and the mobility is not keeping it warm. So we're going to do 5 to 10 minutes on the bike, see how that feels, and then do my mo my mobility. And that's, that's it. That's my pre-workout thoughts for today. See you guys in the gym. What's up guys? Welcome back. So this is like the fifth time I've tried to edit this video and voiceover. And I'm, I keep having issues with uh, Windows Movie Maker. Yeah, that's what I'm using. Don't judge. So we're going to do this in one shot. And hopefully get it right. Okay guys, so as I mentioned in the beginning of the video going for 365 for three sets of six and uh, I have recorded on here the first and last set So some of these, uh, the depth does look a little bit questionable, I will admit to that, but uh, it's one of a couple things. It could be uh, one of the things is I know, you know, on a few reps, I might not have hit depth or at best been just right at depth. Uh, another thing is the angle, of course, that's always a factor. And then the last thing uh, that really kind of throws it off is the sweatpants. So you can't really see where uh, the hip creases when you're wearing those. But as I mentioned, I do notice some of these are not at depth. So rewatching the video, I wasn't too happy. Especially since they were all very painful. What I mean by painful, and you'll see that I mention it coming up in the video. Uh, it kind of, you know, I took advantage of this winter, <laughs> this winter time bulk. Um, been. Uh, so so on tracking my macros actually I've just been tracking it for the uh, first half of the day and then you know kinda going on on my little binge at night but I am not competing anytime soon I'm not too worried about it or I was not too worried about it until this day I started feeling crazy pinches especially towards the last two three reps on this set that you'll see uh, 
you can't see the pinching, but you might be able to see the pain in my face. But I was like four reps in, I remember, <laughs> and I just I didn't want to stop there. Anyway, he's going to let the video run for a little bit, guys. sets in the books for um for squats I'm a, I'm a little fluffy right now i know it should be easier but <laughs> my belt is getting tighter and i haven't loosened it up cut's gonna start soon i'm gonna be a new year's resolutioner i'm going back to my old habit old bad habits of squatting on top of my knees instead of in between my legs it's just i'm making it harder for myself but deciding on whether to go back to um, oh, I'm sorry to stay the same weight next week or to move up in weight so I'm squatting again on Friday try to fix my form and if it feels good then uh, I'll just continue progressing uh, no misreps yet thank God yeah on the deadlifts now uh, my hands are fucking tore up Look at that shit. Ashy too. Pretty. I'm sure there's been worse. So you guys can save that. Save your comments, but <laughs> I can barely bend my pinkies without uh, pain. Just in my day-to-day -day activities. So I'm gonna use the verses again today and uh see how that feels. See you guys in a bit. Got a packed house today. It's uh myself. John, John's girlfriend. Oh. Will. And Kayla's is starting her overhead press. John's uh, helping his lady get some technique down. Gonna sneak up on them like the crocodile hunter and see if we could uh, get some of this info. Yeah, yeah. And instead of That's John the motivator. That's the kind of shit he does. There you go. You just gotta keep it. So it almost should be stripping your chins. Huh? Pretty much stripping your chins. Yeah. yeah. Don't tell her that. Yeah, that's how you get that. <laughs> Shortest point, two distances is a straight line. Yeah. So just think of like doing a straight line. Like that? Just activate your more and try to keep your knees like the tiniest bit out just so just to avoid. Like, like I told Betty, it's like trying to, a lot of two picks, sitting up straight, a lot of weight, but if they're like bent, it'll just flash. Yeah. Okay. 
Let me just consciously think of opening up. Here it is. You see what I mean? There you go. Perfect. Did it feel easier? <laughs> because it looked a lot closer to your body than before. Spreading the floor. Alright guys, I just thought that was kind of cool to see. Hopefully you guys did too. Uh, John's girlfriend, I think, has only deadlifted like two or three times prior to that day. So hopefully she learned a few things and got some good cues. And hopefully you guys did too. Hopefully you guys learned something as well. Never hurts to even... Um, hear what you already know anyways guys I have a whole new respect for people that use straps and verses reason being uh, as you guys see I, I usually only use chalk uh, I like to take a deep breath before I descend to grab the bar and this is kinda hard and I'm sure it's something you get used to but uh, I take a deep breath, and then try to wrap the verses, and then exhale because I'm so tired, and take another deep breath. Uh, on top of that, uh, the belt was pinching like crazy. And you'll see my form is just kind of all over the place. Huh? 460 was the plan today. Only got two reps. Oh, my belt is just fucking digging into me. <laughs> I even uh, expanded it one, but I think it, I did it too late. Not feeling great, so I'm gonna just drop it. I'm gonna drop the weight a little bit. You said six, 445. Coming up. <laughs> Okay, so I dropped the weight, and this is where the pain really begins. I'm at 445 right here, and not feeling confident after that that first set, because it's the first time I failed deadlifts. And on top of that, the belt is pinching. So you're gonna see these are these all look like they're you know at. <laughs> 100% effort. All right, today is not the best uh, uh, best training session I've had, but whatever. Gotta look on the bright side. I've been doing well, making gains this whole time. Uh, so I've been dropped the weight and uh, 445. I can't even remember right now, one or two reps. Tried to reset. And <laughs> that uh, that Christmas food hit hard. Felt like a sick, sickening, absolutely pissing in a bad way. <laughs> uh, pinch, 
on my hip. So, try to uh, be a badass. No, not, not be a badass. I just tried to do it without it and get in the rhythm, but I couldn't. Um, so, we're just really focused on my accessories right now. Got some uh, stiff legged and then uh, gonna do some leg press. Not exactly how I wanted to end the year. This is my last heavy day of the, year, of the 2014. But like I said, can't complain too much. Been making uh, steady gains this whole time. So, some really think what I gotta do. I'll probably uh, drop down the weight for my um, second squat and deadlift day. And just focus on form. Uh, we'll see.